followed very different paths. Action! On the set of his new film, Matt Legg has built an alternative career away from boxing. Much like the movies, he's already played a supporting role in the rise of a new hero. He was knockout number six in the Anthony Joshua story. It's like he's pitting you with bricks. He's got bricks in his hands. The last punch that got me was it just it's a powerful, broke my eye socket. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope everyone's feeling good. Uh, I'm just out doing a, a quick walk around the lake. Yeah, I'm just going to talk about uh, some of the extra work and little bits in little films that I did over the years. Definitely not a movie star. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to Hollywood. But these are all little sort of blink and you'll miss it bits in certain TV shows. My brother called me up one day, my brother Andrew, and he said to me, he said, I've just seen you on the TV show Shameless. But I haven't been on the TV show Shameless. I've never ever filmed for that. And um, he said, that, he said, you're on it. <laughs> but I'll get to that in a minute anyway. I'll get to how that, how that came about. Uh, Ricky English, my old boxing trainer, first got me into the extra work. Uh, with a TV show when I was training with him when I was professional a TV show called Serious and Organised with Martin Kemp Martin Kemp obviously you know Martin Kemp from Spandau Ballet and um, he was in EastEnders he just left EastEnders and he'd gone over to ITV and he did a TV show called Serious and Organised where he played uh, an undercover detective and I had a couple of days shooting as a, an unlicensed boxer. That's thanks to Ricky. Ricky got me in that. We filmed for a couple of days. Martin Kent was lovely. Really, really good bloke. I had some good, good chats with him. And I did the unlicensed fight scene. Initially, I was meant to lose the fight in the TV show. And Ricky English said, look, Matt's an up-and-coming professional. I think I was about 3 and Odin. He said, we can't have him getting beat on the TV show. <laughs> so uh, they changed the script around and I ended up winning the, winning the fight now. And I'll put a little clip up at the end of the fight of the TV show. So um, did a few more things over the years. Uh, when I'm 64, with a couple of uh, well-known actors, Alan Armstrong and Paul Freeman. I just played a football hooligan run, running over a bridge and doing a bit of fighting. It, nothing major, blink and you'll miss it type stuff. Uh, I had a little bit in Bronson, same thing with Tom Hardy. Um, Charlie Bronson got us into the film and uh, we did a bit. Tom Hardy walks into prison, shakes my hand through the bars, but you can barely see me. And um, just little bits like that. New City Fighter, obviously, with Russell North, which was a film sort of Russell wanted to do about a few bits of my life. To be honest, when I watch myself in these things, I do cringe. <laughs> I took up acting lessons after watching myself. I did... Uh, I did take up acting lessons because I, I cringe so much. I did two terms of acting at John Keane's Theatre. Acting's a craft. Um, apparently it takes 20 odd years to really reach your potential if you want to be an actor. Um, but I did love the acting. I love the acting as much as I do uh, the boxing. I never really got into it like I should have done it at the end, but yeah, the acting lessons really did help actually. And I've never really done anything since. So I've never got to put those lessons into, into practice. Yeah, so I did another film in Milton Keynes once with George Newton. George Newton was in two of my favourite things. Uh, this is England, which a lot of you will have watched, and Dead Man's Shoes, starring Toby Kebble, both Shane Meadows uh, productions, directed by Shane Meadows. And uh, I got invited to a film in Milton Keynes by my friend Craig Hammer. I went over for a few hours and done a bit of filming there with George Newton. I had to grab hold of George Newton and throw him out. There was actually a, a little article on Sky News, uh, sorry, Sky Sports News did a little news report on it and I'll try and put that in here if I can. Apologies for the quality if I do. Craig Slater, Sky Sports. Well, it's like he's got bricks in his hands. That's how a former opponent of Anthony Joshua has described the heavyweight's punching power. The fight took place at Wembley Stadium three years ago. Since then, uh, the two men have followed very different paths. Action! On the set of his new film, Matt Legg has built an alternative career away from boxing. Much like the movies, he's already played a supporting role in the rise of a new hero. He was knockout number six in the Anthony Joshua story. It's like he's pitting you with bricks. He's got bricks in his hands. The last punch that got me was, it just, it's a powerful, broke my eye socket. 
I had three months of uh, nerve damage. There was numbness in my whole face. It effectively put an end to my career. You're going to come up behind him. He's now used to taking direction. A far cry from walking out into the unknown at Wembley almost two years ago. Leg is backing Joshua to get his Hollywood ending. It was just an amazing experience to walk out into the into the stadium. It, it literally felt like walking out into the Gladiators arena back in the back in the old days. If you get tagged like that, you're in desperate trouble, and he's done. If it goes later on, I do think Vladimir will have a better chance if it goes later on. But I can't see Klitschko going later on. Joshua, as soon as he catches you with anything, he, he just he's ruthless. He'll be on top of him. If I'd say round, I'd say I'd say round round four, knockout round four. The new film is a gangster thriller. Joshua will be hoping that Saturday night doesn't turn into a horror. I was always into the acting, even even at the start of my boxing career. I was in Bronson with Tom Hardy and a few other things. So I've always had a love for acting, yeah. and any learning any new craft is interesting to me. What's harder then, getting in a ring with Anthony Joshua or learning your lines? Getting in the ring with Joshua is more painful. He says he gets typecast as the tough guy, and it looks like a mismatch here. No doubt it'll be closer on Saturday night. Come on, one more time. Dave Reed, Sky Sports. Uh, anyway, yeah, so George Newton was on that. George Newton does read my YouTube um, uh, messages, and he watches, he watches my videos. So, George, if you're watching, hope you're well, mate. Uh, George lives over uh, in Italy now, so um, yeah, he's having a good time over there. So getting to the Shameless, the Shameless episode, I, as I'd never filmed for Shameless, they must have took the footage of me in Serious and Organised, where I did the boxing match, and used it on their show. So, so uh, I'll put the clip up of that when I was in Shameless without even realising. I was in good shape then as well, I was about 16 and a half stone, but I was lean and strong. Probably in my prime, probably back then. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm still interested in acting. I might take up the lessons again because I really did enjoy doing the lessons. And um, yeah, I might have another go at it. You never know. So if anyone out there wants wants me in any of their films or anything, let me know. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was good fun. Little bits of extra work. Um, I mean, there's no, there's not a lot of money in it. Even Tom Hardy. When he did Bronson, he only got, I think, 30... That swan's there behind me. Tom Hardy only got about, I think, 30 or 40 grand, which is not a lot of money for um, for a big film back then. Not life-changing money. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you've got to really make it to get the big money in acting. But, uh, yeah, just a little video. Hope everyone's well. Let me know how you're doing. Uh, I've got a big podcast on Monday, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'll talk more about that later on, but that's a big one. A really good good podcast as well. But um, yeah, all the best everyone and have a good weekend, yeah?